Hello, my name is Patrick and today I'm going to show you one of the new features of the version 2.3 of Urbaniac City Asset Pack. In this version, we will find the ability to create elevated highways to incorporate them into our scenes. First, in the graphical interface of Urbaniac, we must select the corresponding category. Between it, we will find some specific assets, among which are a modular section and a highway exit section. To start, and as an example, I will add the straight section first. As we can see, next to the element, we have two controls. One of them has the shape of an arrow used to move the entire set to the position we want. The second one is a curve, and we will allow us to change the shape of the highway, as well as its length. We will adapt automatically. The other section has the same control. But in this case, the length we will not update it to the curve, it will only copy its shapes. Later, we will see how to integrate both elements on a single curve in order to generate long highway sections. Let's see what this object looks like if we switch to the render mode of the 3D viewport. As you can see, the texture of the road does not adapt to the shape of our curve. To solve this problem, which only occurs in the 3D viewport and not in the final render, we must go in and out of the offset in edit mode. The materials that make up the highway are linked to the Urbania graphical interface. It's the same for all the materials in the asset pack. This allows us to manipulate certain VFX such as adding water to the surface from a single location. To do this, we must select Configure Scene in the graphical interface of the add-on, and then manipulate the fourth value, Wet Surface. By increasing its value, the surface of our city, in this case the highway, will begin to look wet. We will be able to have more control of the surface from the shader editor in the road material. Here we can modify a series of values which vary from the layout and type of line of the pavement, the number of cracks, the tone of the asphalt, among others. Everything you need to adapt it to your scene just a few clicks away. Let's see how to quickly manipulate these elements to create a long and complex highway. We will start with the two highway modules, the short straight modules and the module with the motorway exit. We will therefore have a curve that controls each one and a pile of roads, one for each direction, on each module. The first thing we must do is get rid of one of the curves and the two rows of one of the modules. Once those three elements have been deleted, we will need both position controls to be at the same spot. We will set the module modifier to follow the curve that we are haven't deleted yet. We can use right click copy to select to facilitate the task. Then we will move the section on the X axis in modules of 45 meter long. And we will adjust the right modifier of the straight section from fit curve to fit count. We will adjust the number of sections needed to get to the next model. As the highway is modeled at 45 meters long, the fit between the parts is always perfect. We can duplicate and add more models to our highway as long as we move them on the X axis. We can correct the shape of our highway with the curve and the entire system will adapt to it without any problems. As the road surface is a single object that is repeated through the length of the different sections, we can use it as a target for the vehicle rigs and they will never have gaps between the parts. Now that we have the basic shape of our highway, we can add more details. The best way to add them is by using the curve modifier. In this example, we will add a large exit sign. First, we select it from the add-on interface. Then, we position it at the correct height. We can use the snap tool to help us. We will select the corresponding curve in the modifier. We will repeat this step for the other two objects that make up the element. You can use right click copy to select to make the task easier. We will move the element on the X axis to reach the desired position. 
we will be able to rotate the element 180 degrees and move them on the x-axis to have the sign in the opposite directions. The same process applies to lights and other signs. In the case we want to create a night scene, remember to configure the scene from the add-on interface, from there modify the first value from 0 to 1. Now you will see how the lights of your highway, including signs, will lighten up. There are other elements within the asset pack that can help you create a more complex highway. I recommend you that check the plastic barriers and the curved signs. The way to arrange this element is the same as described above. I hope this video has been informative and that you enjoy Urbaniac City Asset Pack. You can subscribe to be aware of the news.